So friends, in the last video, we discussed the derivatives or fat of the ectoderm germ layers and now in this video, we will discuss the derivatives of the mesoderm and the endoderm. So let's first begin the discussion from the mesoderm. So mesoderm has three parts. One is paraaxial mesoderm, second one is intermediate and third one is lateral plate mesoderm. Paraaxial mesoderm is again has three parts. One is sclerotomes myotomes and the dermatomes from the sclerotomes obviously what will synthesize what will formed what will develop axial skeleton it includes vertebrae and the parts of the neurocranium from the myotomes all the voluntary or skeletal muscles of the head trunk and the limbs and from the dermatomes obviously the dermis especially from the especially of the dorsal regions so dermis of the dorsal region is derived from the dermatomes and these dermatomes are part of the paraaxial mesoderm and paraaxial mesoderm is the part of the mesoderm germ layer. After paraaxial mesoderm now coming to intermediate mesoderm and from this intermediate mesoderm urinary organs and the reproductive organs are derived. So it includes in the urinary organs kidneys, ureters urinary bladder and mostly the trigon part of the urinary bladder is derived from the intermediate mesoderm and female urethra and male urethra and female and male urethra ka kaun sa part posterior wall of the female urethra and posterior wall of the upper half of the prostatic urethra then in the male prostate region and prostate ka kaun sa part mainly inner glandular region after urinary organs now coming to reproductive organs for the male and the female and it includes in the male testes epididymis ductus deferens seminal vesicle ejaculatory duct and in the female ovaries uterus uti, uterine tube and the vagina and most importantly the upper part of the vagina after intermediate mesoderm, now coming to lateral plate mesoderm and it has four parts. One is somatopleuric or that is also called as parietal mesoderm, splanchnopleuric mesoderm or visceral mesoderm, septum transversum and fourth one is angiogenic mesoderm. Now friends, from the name it is clear that somatopleuric or parietal mesoderm will form the outer or parietal part of most parietal layer of most of the organs and the splanchnopleuric or visceral mesoderm will form the inner layer of the organs. So friends, first let's see the structures derived from the somatopleuric or parietal mesoderm. So all the connective tissues which includes bone, cartilage and the adipose tissues, all these specialized connective tissues are derived from the somatopleuric mesoderm. Now friends, here you may get confused that the cartilage of the head region was derived from the neural crest but the cartilage of all over the cartilage of the head region was derived from the neural crest but the cartilage from all over the body except the head region are derived from the somatopleuric or parietal mesoderm. Now here you may get confused that the axial skeleton, axial skeleton or axial bones was derived from the sclerotome that was the part of the paraaxial, paraaxial mesoderm. But other than axial skeleton, all the bones of the body will be derived from the somatopleuric or parietal mesoderm. Now next is Dermis, dermis especially of the ventrolateral region because the dorsal region, dorsal region, dermis was derived from the dermatomes that was the part of the paraaxial mesoderm. But the dermis of the ventrolateral region is derived from the somatopleuric or parietal mesoderm. Next is superficial fascia and the deep fascia, ligaments, tendons and aponeurosis, parietal layer of the pleura peritoneum, tunica vaginalis of the testes, eye can there kon kon sa part, sclera choroid, vitreous, corneal stroma and the ciliary muscles. 
and muscles includes the eyelid muscles and the extra ocular muscles so friends all these structures are derived from the somatopleuric or parietal mesoderm now here all these structures which are derived from the somatopleuric or parietal mesoderm are very very important for your pg entrance exam point of view now friends after somatopleuric mesoderm or parietal mesoderm now coming to splanchnopleuric or visceral mesoderm so from this smooth muscles connective tissues of the respiratory tract gut heart and the blood vessels adrenal cortex now remember that aapko yaad hai adrenal medulla was derived from the मिलेंगे कब दो लोग मिलेंगे तो क्या होगा क्रश इट मींस क्रेस्ट न्यूरल क्रेस्ट से एड्रिनल मेडुला वाला पार्ट डिराइव हुआ था बट दी एड्रिनल कॉर्टेक्स वाला पार्ट जो है वो स्प्लांकनोप्लोरिक और विसिरल मिजोडम से डिराइव होने वाला है एंड दी विजिरल लेयर ऑफ द प्लूरा पेरिटोनियम एंड द पेरिकार्डियल एंड विसिरल लेयर इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज मिजोथीलियम नेक्स्ट इज मायोकार्डियम एंड दी सीरस पेरिकार्डियम स्प्लीन एंड दी लिम्फ नोट्स so here the most important derivative of the splanchnopleuric or visceral mesoderm is the adrenal cortex and the myocardium and serous pericardium and the spleen and the lymph nodes these three are very very important for your pg entrance exam one is adrenal cortex second one is myocardium serous pericardium spleen and the lymph nodes next is septum transversum and from it diaphragm and the fibrous pericardium are derived serous pericardium is derived from the splanchnopleuric but the fibrous pericardium is derived from the septum transversum next is angiogenic mesoderm and from it endocardium endothelium of the blood vessels and the lymphatic lymphatic vessels circulating blood cells microglia and tissue macrophages are derived now friends after mesoderm now coming to structures derived from the endoderm so from the endoderm the git git includes the esophagus up to the anus tract gall bladder extra hepatic duct system and the pancreatic duct and in th- in the ear eustachian tube that is also called as pharyngotympanic tube middle ear mastoid antrum air cells and the tympanic membrane tympanic membrane ka kaun sa part inner layer inner part because outer part was that is in the contact of the external environment was derived from the surface ectoderm but the inner layer is derived from the endoderm whole respiratory tract it includes larynx trachea bronchi and the alveoli which forms the lung proper after respiratory tract there is genito urinary tract at and it includes the urinary bladder urinary, urinary bladder most part of the urinary bladder except the trigon part because trigon part was derived from the intermediate intermediate mesoderm the part of the female urethra other than the post other than the part of the posterior wall because part of the posterior wall is derived from the mesoderm male urethra ka kaun sa part all the part of the male urethra except the posterior wall of the prostatic urethra because it is from the mesoderm except the part of the penile urethra lying the glands because it is ectodermal in origin because it is in the contact of the external environment then vestibule and the inner surface of the labia minora because outer surface of the labia minora and the hole labia majora was derived from the surface ectoderm because it is in the contact of the external environment then coming to glands like thyroid gland parathyroid liver pancreas and the glands in the wall of the gastrointestinal tract all are derived from the endoderm then reticular connective tissues and these are thymus and the tonsils so friends these are all structures which are derived from the endoderm and these are all structures which are derived from the mesoderm so friends this is all about the structures which are derived from the ectoderm mesoderm and the endoderm and all these structures which we have discussed are very very important for your pg entrance exam because 
एक आदि क्वेश्चन तो यहाँ से आना ही है आपकी पीजी एंट्रेंस एग्जाम में सो फ्रेंड्स इन द लास्ट थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड आई विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर ब्राइट फ्यूचर